You want a C4? C. Is that uh, is that yours? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Take it from him. Is Ladies there, and gentlemen, okay. it is Never time mind. for our fourth fight of the evening. Fighting out of the blue corner. Welcome, Kenji Grio. And we welcome for the first time to a karate combat Kenji Grion, 32 years old, from France. A lot of very decorated sport karate achievements for him. World champion, uh, individual and teams, European champion, French champion. Uh, you know, wasn't particularly complimentary about uh, some of his opponents' uh, striking capabilities. You can see, though, he's a big human being in this welterweight division. And his opponent, welcome out of the red corner, Nichols F-16, Gadako! Welcome back for the third time. Nikos Gudakos from Greece carrying a lot of confidence into this one, as we mentioned, uh, that fantastic KO victory against Gilmarcos Tabastos Jr. back in July of last year in Season 3. He did before that uh, get taken out by Davy Donner, but a good win over Williams Carino all the way back in 2020 in Season 2. So doing well here so far, 2-1. and one. Again, very tall for this weight class, but... Uh, a little bit thicker is Kenji Grion, perhaps. Look at that for a vista as Paris burns in the background. I asked him, I said, Kenji, how can you get that name? And he goes, well, my father was a karate teacher. So that's why I think he called the Kenji. <laughs> Kenji. Kenji. Oh, massive reach advantage in the legs for uh, Kenji Grion. Started training at eight. Wow, eight years. Judo, age. karate, soccer, he does everything. Let's go. Loves eight MMA, years old. Loves five bright fighting championships. I mean, uh, Nikos Gadakos, tail of the tape for him, 34 years old. A little bit of the uh, slightly elder of the two fighters here. Going to be giving up some reach. This could be a knockout. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Woo! Ready, sir? Very excited. Wayne Spinola is your referee for this one. Our and event tonight is brought to you I by C4. Ignite your power with C4. I yep. like Kinji's feints right there, the in and out movement, is trying he? to draw and it out. That's what he said he was going to do for yes. the game, but I love it when people do say Ooh. something and do it. Oh! 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 Talk about pressure straight off the bat. Kenji Grion bringing it to Nikos Gadakos in the opening 30 seconds here. Yeah, Spin Grion's kick. Yeah, he right said, into a flying kick. That's the same, right? I mean, who does that? And he said, it's, it's cool because my opponent doesn't know anything about me because there's no footage out there. He said, and I know more about him. Oh, Ooh. man. A lot of power in that body kick. Heavy kick. Oh, lateral drop throw Ooh. from Kenji Grion ends up on top. Oof. Kinji definitely looking like the, 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 the stronger of the two. The, the, yeah, they're the kind of just uh, the slightly fainting. more well-built. <laughs> I love it when fighters simply faint. I mean, it's so <laughs> effective. Oh, yeah. look at that. Coming a lot of distance. That's uh, backhand coming through. Nice kick there by Gidakos. Yeah, Gidakos is just trying to settle back into this one, standing very upright here. A bit more of a traditional boxing stance for him. Plus, he knows, you know, if he can land that cross, you know, he just needs to wait for a right moment. Yeah, I mean, how, you know, it brings a lot of confidence when you know you do have that knockout power. Mm -hmm. Well, tying up here. He's having a hard lock. time finding that right hand because of Kinji's movement, right? Very unorthodox, especially when you're fainting constantly. You never know when they're going to come in, so it's hard to counter that. Exactly. That's why I love it. And the level changes. Good low kick from Grillon. I like that. Oh, good front kick. Oh, time, 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 time. A little bit to the pelotas or not? <laughs> I don't know. I think it was a little high. On oh, the hip, right? Yeah, Maybe I think it was hip. pulled it up. Sometimes that happens all you pull the cup up. Ah. That way. A zombie walking around here. Here's the replay. Yeah, quick replay of that clash. Let's have a look. Wow, looks like it's more to the hip to me. Yeah. yeah. You ready, sir? Okay, here we go. Ready? And there's a lot of fainting going on. Minute left in this opening round. Ooh. Wheel kick goes awry. 
Oh, that's a strong oh, kick oh, to the Oh, oh this could oh, be an injury. Oh, man. Oh. oh. Let's see. Oh. Not sure if that's a knee or if that was just a shin shot. Oh, oh. Creon's going to pounce on him. Oh, you can't. Oh. <laughs> He's going to go straight to work on that lead leg again. Oh, yeah. There and you is. see Godakos. Steven, you mentioned the possibility of a dead leg if that lands cleanly. But also what he did there, he did a calf kick, and then the second kick was a front kick. Right, you right, see, right, that right, is right, thinking. Right, right, thinking low, and then yeah. he changes it up. I love it. 25 seconds left. Griot's going to get stuck back in here, and I don't think, I don't think he wants these tie-ups. Kinji is going hard for that KO. He's trying to get it done. Godakos switching immediately to Southpaw. Well, now throwing kicks back with that leg. Ten seconds oh. left. A couple of spinning Ten back seconds. kicks. What a good round for Griot. Again, just backing him up. Whoa. Can he do this for three rounds, though? Because oh. that's a lot of energy he's throwing out. And now that he knows his opponent's low calf is hurt, he's going to go back there every oh. time. I mean, you know, you, you just kind of felt the thud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when those went through. You can tell by the way he sat down. Did you see it? He's still hurt. Well, and I think what it, what happened was uh, my man Gadakos was sitting down on the right hand, so he put all of his weight on that front foot at the same time he took that right. shot. Well, let's see if we can get a look at it on the replays here. Base. Oh! Oh, wow. Ooh, what the shit. That has buckled Lee. the knee on the inside. It wouldn't surprise me if we're looking at some form of ligament damage for MCL. Nikos Gadakos. Yeah, yeah that, that lateral movement, as you just said, Stephen, that MCL taking a hell of a hammering. There's a spinning back kick to the hamstring. I never seen that before. <laughs> <laughs> He's still fighting. He still wants to get after it. I mean, we know Gudakos is tough, but uh, could be a bit of an uphill struggle for him here. Let's see if he comes out fighting Southpaw or he puts that lead leg in jeopardy again. Aye. Oh, he's switching sides. Yeah, yeah. smart. Now the inside low is not going to work. It's just shin on shin. Yeah, a little snapping low kick from Gudakos. Oh, and he's oh, got so just, back. Yeah, just by default, his. Oh, and he's chasing him Beautifully here. Beautifully movement backwards, not in a straight line, but Grillon, he's doing phenomenal. You see, Gadakos really has to think about starting in Southpaw. That's why oh, I think. Oh, that was nice. Gave one of his own. That's and why I think it's the importance of being able to switch sides. Right? Taking less damage. Ooh, oh, one. man, that looked like it hurt him. Oh, yeah. Well, Gadakos uh, giving as good as he gets here in the opening minute of round number two. Anything oh. you could do, I could do better. That's what he was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the damage on the back of Gadakos as well. Oh, oh it's landing it. Back. Oh. 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 Hey. Double leg. Yeah, it's oh, good. Thinking I you're love not, this. You're not allowed to commit both hands to the... Uh, to the legs for a takedown. So Gidakos' nickname is F-16, right? Uh, yes. So, but he was flying now. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, Gidakos has uh, changed tact here, and it appears to be paying dividends for him. Yeah, he's going back at it. Now, watch the head kick. Oh, that will be something, man, if he does that. Watch this. If you notice, Kinji dropped both hands. Let's see if he takes it up to the head. I love that uh, Kenji is also using the front kicks after throwing roundhouse kicks. Very deceptive. Well, halfway point elapsed in this second round, and as the I fight as like a whole. But Hidakos took it back, man, with the kicks. Oh. He did. Yeah, I mean, this second, this second round is undoubtedly going the way oh, of the headshot. What was that? Yeah, he thought it was a kick to the body, but it was. Oh! oh, oh yeah. the right hand. Staggered him. Well, they are throwing down here. Kenji Grion getting as good as he's giving. Wow. Big wait, takedown, wait, though. Wait, there you see the perhaps the power deferential in the upper body. Kenji struggling standing up there. Those low calves, right. both of them are hurt. Fight. There's the kick again. Gadakos is is uh, is kind of checking those well now. He's he taking is. a lot of pressure away from him. He is. Side choke. Standing side choke. <laughs> yeah, I think head and arms are legal in karate combat, unfortunately. 24 seconds left here. Ooh, again, Gadakos times this big pickup, and that's a good takedown for Grion. Ready? 
10 seconds, fight. Kadakos is definitely is having a hard time getting up as well. You see the pain oh, yeah. every time he stands up. Oh, I think. I wonder if he oh, hurt his own foot oh. there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I may have busted his own right foot there, catching it on the shin. Oh, look at him. He's having a hard oh, time to yeah. get up there. And it's actually something that was discussed in the rules meeting is, you know, if the referee sees you struggling to get back up the pit wall, they will consider a medical intervention. Let's have a look back at some of the replays here. That was nice there to let it slide underneath. Hard kicks there oh. from Kidakos. You and then he landed that cross too, right? Yeah. You got to wonder if that instep just, you know, took too much of a hammering right at the end of that round. This was the huge double leg pickup. Boom! Boom. Oh, there's there's the right hand. hand. I mean, look, that second round, guys, I think we're, we're completely in agreement that Gadakos has even this one up. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. It's definitely no. one and one, I, I believe. And, and that after receiving all that damage in round number one to go Four back stop. like that, that's oh, yeah. a fighter, dude. Oh, oh, they're going to oh, it's a corner stoppage. Oh. And I think we've just got an injury to Nikos Gadakos. Both legs taking too much damage. Some from Grion and some of his own making. Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, Gadakos is going to try and make his way back for the raising of the hands i think he might have a, a broken leg maybe a hairline fracture to that shin ladies and gentlemen our winner by stoppage out of the blue corner kenji Grio. Still, man, I'm telling you, uh, Kidako's animal to come back after that first round with the damage he sustained to his legs and then doing the same thing to Grillon. It's too bad that he got injured. At the I mean, look, we, we've had some fantastic displays of heart at, at Karate Combat before. I mean, you want to go back to the main event last time out, Josh Quayhagen oh. uh, against Luis Rosa, but Nikos Kidakos uh, really getting stuck in there. Look at the fight stats from that bout. Total strikes very clearly going the way of the Frenchman. Uh, really, that telling the bulk of the story, but Gadakos, you know, those 14 kicks landed, they were significant. Oh, they yeah. Yep, full power, bending leg kicks. Got to say, I love the physicality of, of Kenji Grion at the, the start of that bout in particular. And, and every, he said what he was going to do, and he did it. Oh, you know, yeah. the feints, the movement, the moving backwards and to the side, I mean, he was totally in control. And the, the, the low kicks from both guys, I tell you, I'm, I feel like I should be sitting down right now. <laughs> <laughs> My legs are hurting after watching that fight. Sympathy, sympathy leg pains. <laughs>